Hello everyone, Vase of here, and welcome back to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. Uh, we actually have a little issue here. Uh, for about 10 minutes of this episode, I am silenced, I'm muted, so this is actually the first over voiceover, so I'm going to try to cover what I can. Um, essentially, what we got going on here is we're going to be going to this new area, bringing in some new peoples. I was hoping to get some man-at-arms goodnesses here. We got some good trinkets for some extra damage going in. I'm planning on him to protect our level zero hound master here. Um, he's, I'm kind of worried about him bringing in since he's not so good. So giving him a little bit of damage and some extra scouting and trip chance here. And then of course we're bringing in a plague doctor just to give her a little extra speed. And since our party is kind of weak here, we're gonna bring uh, them in for some CC. And we're also bringing in a Vestal, or not a Vestal. That is the, uh, the Zealot, that's the one. Uh, so, because she does more damage to Bloodseekers since we're going to the Crimson Court for the first time. Uh, heads up, I don't really remember exactly what, what the Crimson Court is all about, so I'm just going to be bringing a bunch of different uh, provisions here. Uh, because I forget how all the interactions work. I'm not used to this place. I didn't get very far in my original playthrough uh, back six or so months ago. The courtyard and gardens surrounding the manor were once a point of pride for the diligent custodians I employed. Great banquets and lavish social affairs were hosted here under the stars. Despite the expectation of propriety normally ascribed to those in our position, we mocked the stoic melancholy of the moss-covered fountains and cherubic statues. Our salacious trysts half hidden in the hedgerows, our morality slipping ever deeper into the mud. Man, the writing always gets me so good. Soaked and sinking, these stone terraces and sprawling gardens were the site of long forgotten revelry and well remembered regret. So there may be some duplicative uh, comments here coming up because I ended up trying to follow up with them later, uh, not even thinking that I could just do a voiceover. Uh, but essentially, the Crimson Court is completely different than the normal missions. Essentially, you come in blind, um, but you reveal some of the map as you go, and the next time you come in, that map is revealed. And I think I was talking about, if you look at the mini-map to the right here, it looks like some of the solid areas of black kind of looked like uh, that was what the dungeon was going to be out, or the layout was going to be. Um, so I'm not sure if that actually is a thing, or if it's a bug, or if it's intended to be so. Here you can see me trying various items on this pile of bones here. I'm not quite sure what they do. Like I said earlier, don't quite know how this area works out. Are often low on supplies. But we got a first fight coming up here. And here we go, we're talking about the blood light here. Uh, torches actually don't give you light here, but they do give you a buff, as you see right there, uh, plus 3 AC, which is awesome. I'm not quite sure what this standard buff, or light, torch light is in this area. I'm assuming it's zero, but I don't know, I could be wrong here. Here we are, our first fight. These guys are nasty. Nice dodge. Just can't do anything else. Smack them. And I haven't really played her, so just kind of feel her out, see how things go. I'm gonna try to take this guy out, see if I can do a little damage. Nope. This AoE bleed is gonna be lovely from the Hound's Master, even though it doesn't do much hit. It's nice to get a little bit of dodge there. Why well, can't? And I couldn't remember why I couldn't use my Ret here. Um, that kind of threw me off, but you know, just finish him off. And I actually end up realizing here pretty soon. And it was a Huge bummer. So next fight we got going on. Got three of them blood suckers. He's nasty. Nice stun. Yep, nice ardent hammer. Looks like uh my mouse isn't coming through again. That's a bummer. I'll have to check the settings again. That keeps coming on and off for this game for some reason, I'm not sure why. But, hey, you see that? Uh, those are actually animal creature things that's 
eating that person's head like a face hugger. See? A skull coming through. Nasty. And here I'm still wondering why I can't ret. Because that would be super useful here, and that's where I realize it. Skills with marks are disabled. Uh, it didn't quite make sense for the first few seconds that I remembered that that does a self mark, so it totally disables it. So that needs to go. Uh, I believe I put him in the sanitarium immediately after this run. Probably would have been smarter to do uh, a single target hounds rush there. But oh well. Yeah, those guys, when they hit you, they heal, which is a bummer. But the the bleed the Ardent does, or sorry, the uh, the Zella does is pretty gnarly. I kind of want to pair her up with a Flagellant at some time. And someone else that gets bonuses from bleed. And there we see the Crimson Curse for the first time. Uh, that is nasty. All those debuffs it gives you. As well as some other nasty things. That's why we carry blood, is because they end up craving stuff. They essentially become a vampire. So you need to take care of them. Or bad things happen. So we'll heal him up just a little bit since he is the weakest party member. Nasty bleeds. Do I do the AoE here? Kill them both? Nope, but they're gonna die anyway. So just finish them off. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. And we're gonna try to cheese another heal here. Great is the weapon that nice. counts on its own. Very nice. Get rid of that bleed. Get rid of your bleed. Nah. Didn't need it. There's only one round left, I think. And here's our first hive. Take it out. So every room you clear gives you a, a new scout. And it looks like those black areas of the map actually aren't the real map. It's just kind of a design, which is kind of nice. All right, new area thing to figure out. Torches don't work. Herbs don't work. Just break it. All right, nothing. That is not a hive. Check it out though. Alright, torch. Ooh! Oh, a stress relief. Okay, well, good to know. And this hall is actually really long. Why are my people getting stressed out for? You should love to be here, zealot. Ooh, nice surprise. Should I take him out? Could go for the heal here. And yeah, I do. Do I go for a kill here? I think I was looking at the how I can activate that AoE. Eradicated. Do not like that maddening one because that's how mosquitoes are in real life, right? Super obnoxious. Buzzing in your ears. And stupid heal. You suck. But it doesn't matter because she pretty much killed you. Yeah, free stress heal. Nice. Everyone. It's always nice when that happens. Wish it could be bigger, but it's level zero skill, so we'll take it. Switching up some skills here, so I can better utilize what's going on. And I, if I remember right, I was starting to wonder, because one of those skills increases torchlight. I don't know if that helps here. Uh, but I don't give it a shot. I should give that a shot sometime. Just to check it out. But other places, you know, normal dungeon runs it could be super useful. Yeah, so let's go with that. And get rid of your ret, because I kept forgetting. So might as well do Bellow, which probably won't use very much because... I don't know, I usually prefer to dish out some damage unless something's going to be surviving longer. First pillar to take down. What 
we got a hit. Yuck. Wish there was a... Yeah, deciding on if I wanted to stun him, and I do because those things are nasty and I don't like the curse they give, so these are the ones we can pretty much take care of. Nice bleeds. Smack him down. Smack him down! Alright. I think you're dead. Stun this guy. Slowly, gently. This is how a life is taken. All right. Yeah, nice little heal up. Stress is getting a little high. Come on, bleed. No. Munching. Could go for a stun. End up using the bellow here. We gotta take him out. Blame. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. I think I do another heal here. I just realized I've been on silence this whole time. I apologize. And there we go. Off silence. Guess I could do. Formation is broken. Follow up with what I've been Maintain saying. The offensive. Which is, I haven't really done Crimson Court before. Uh, this, I did and didn't get very far in one of my original plays. I'm not gonna waste a treat on you. Ow. So I don't really know how the Curios and stuff interact. Um, as well as bringing a level zero in here is kind of rough. That kind of sucks. Uh, what's interesting about the Crimson Court is the map gets revealed as you go, and it stays the same. So when I leave and come back, everything that I've scouted and as far as I've been uh, will stay the same. It's not like a random generated uh, dungeon like the other places. Oh, I don't have a torch. Blood? Nope. Alright. Uh oh. <gasps> no, thank you. Please stun. Thank you. I guess I should start with a. a mid game intro since I was on. Hello, everyone. My name is Grace, and welcome back to another episode of Darkest Dungeon. <laughs> uh, what we got going on here, this guy has that stupid mark disabler thing, so he can't use ret, which I wanted him to have originally. Nope. Nice. No such luck. Super bummer. Uh, something else I brought up was the torchlight. There isn't really any torchlight right now, but the torches, if you saw earlier, they give... Uh, I meant to do the other one. The bleak. Oh, that's good enough. Um, they give you a buff use them here. So I'm curious to know how her skill where it goes. Plus nine torch doesn't seem to affect the courtyard. You're gonna die. Let's five. There we go, you're dead. And uh you saw earlier this guy got the Crimson Curse which is this and they they become vampires and become crazy. The ground quakes as they don't have the blood, that's what this is for. Bam! I like her, she's fun. You're dead, so. I'm building enough to heal, so let's just do this. Wait, did you go? You win, so never mind. Give them no quarter. Perfect. Now when this goes, he'll bleed out, or she'll just kill him. I wanna see what it looks like. She just dumps water on him, that's funny. Yeah, sure, heal. We'll take it. Aw. Just one person. 
this expedition at least promises Let's go up. success. I don't like touching these. Oh wait, I already learned that one. Damn it! Dumb. Oh, there's a hive. We need that. Lead. Is that a prot? That's a prot. Should have did the AOE, but oh well. You're dead now. Your prod means nothing. Stun the bastard. Come on. Oh wait, 150%. Never mind. I knew that. I knew that. Bonk. Dead. All right. Doing okay. Foolish. I wonder. Brought low and driven into the mud. Thank you, Wayne. I wonder if uh, it's possible to get enough resolve experience to level up multiple times, or is it only ever max you out? Because this guy is smart, so additional experience is cool. The farther we go with him, the better chance of getting us closer to our backliners with us, the better. Because I noticed when I was trying to assemble this party before coming in here was, uh, I'm gonna drop some holy water in here. That oh, usually that's what you do. God damn it! I keep doing that on him. Um, as I, I noticed was the uh, I have no third and fourth liners that are lower levels, so coming here was difficult trying to make a party because I had no people that could fit the third and fourth role that would be viable because you know I have the, the pit fighter and a bunch of other melee classes that have to be in first or second where well, they can't do anything so that's why I had to bring out this level zero here it's my only one that could do something my falconer unfortunately is level three so she wouldn't come all right flowers can I just pick some flowers Gave me a scout picking flowers. That's cool. We got a battle here. I got no torches, so it doesn't matter. Oh crap, I forgot to switch my party order. Oh, I'll take that surprise though. Come on, double stun. Thank you. I've been killing people fast enough that he hasn't had to use his double plague thing at the back of lines. Oh. Oh, you all resisted? I guess you have 60%. And you're not bloodsuckers, that's a bummer. Let's get a bleed on you. Or kill you outright, I'll take that. Kill him, right? Seven? Yep. As long as he hit, he was gonna kill him. Yeah, double still took us. Alright, we need to do this now. Damage on them. Ah! If the Houndmaster went first, he would have been dead. Alright, now she's forward. That's cool. Your stress is getting a little. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Oh, come on! You can't hit anyone here. How about this? Blam. Okay. How about. Deuce! Heal. You're dead. A trifling victory. No, I'm never... But a victory nonetheless. I don't think I've used this yet, have I? Oh yeah, that's crazy. This place doesn't have campfires. Which is super scary actually, because eventually you just get screwed and screwed and screwed. You don't show up with a campfire. It's really dangerous. Did I miss one of those curios? The hives? I have one more left, right? Ooh, multi skeeters. Come on, stuns. Low enough, should be good. Come on! Thank you. That was great. He was a 
waiting to get stunned here. Right. Bam. Oh, really? All dodge initiatives, that's not good. Hit him hard. Get a bleed. Five damage, cool, he's dead. That's all I care about. Stun you. Alright, we'll have to take that. Thank you. Oh, cool, check it out. Oh, I was gonna say we can stun two people, but one of them's dead. Yeah, double dodge. We'll take it. Jeez. I really hate our zealot here. Stop! Damn! Try to get some stress seals going on. Come on. Accept a stress seal. It'd be better if you accepted a higher one. I guess his might be really low. Considering he uh, is level zero and has no upgrades. Let me go before this ugly guy. Thank you. Do I chance? Him getting to go. Ooh, I'm really chancing it now. He's probably gonna go now. Fuck! I hate your stress heal. Come on, fleet light. Thank you. Woo! They, maybe they go slower when they have a full belly. Obliterated. Oh, 21 crit. Nope. These nightmarish creatures can Got no be bleeds felt. going on. Can be All right. Beaten. Forward. Move this forward. Oh, see, this is what happens with the Crimson Course. Or Curse. He is now craving. Which means he wants blood. I'm not touching those. You're kind of hurt. Since we don't have camp skills anymore. Just feed him. Hey. They take blood? They do. And he trades you, that's cool. Kinda want this. Do I have one of those already? Stupid, you're full. Take that. Going this way now. What cure? That was the plants. No. Unnatural and abhorrent. No, 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 no. I may have to flee this battle. I I'm pretty sure I can't take this guy. This guy sucks. Look how much damage that did! He's not a- He is a bloodsucker! That's kinda nice. Fuck! Of course you had a miss! I stun him. I really wish I had retribution. Oh, that's kinda cool. Knocked him back too. Can I... Fuck! Stop missing! Oh, it missed the plant. That's okay. I just don't want it to miss him. What? You're gonna eat one of them. Might have to just stack a shit ton of bleeds on. Fuck! You're scary. I don't like you. Come on, come on, come on. Bleed, bleed. Thank you. I'm not gonna be able to stun you, but you're. Keep knocking him back, I hope. Oh my god, it worked! I can't believe I stunned him twice in a row. You're not, normally not supposed to be able to get that off because he gets that buff. Come on, come on, come on. Fuck. Okay, well that's not gonna work anymore, so... Might have to do this. Fuck, fuck. Shit, he cleared all his crap. I don't like that. Your mark went away already? How'd that happen? Fuck. 
This actually might work if I can keep knocking him back. Because he hasn't really done anything. Knock him back, come on. Oh my god, this is awesome. Normally this guy's scary. He ruined my first party. The first time I met him. Come on. Your resistances suck, dude. Ow, fucking. It's insanity. Actually, it could be nice. Your debuff chance is really high. Come on, can I... Alright, cool. Let's AC, I will take it. I wish you could delay your turn. That would be super helpful. Stop coming closer. Come on, get some bleeds up on him. Thank you. Oh, he gets to go again? Shit! This is where he gets scary. Now I can't hit him. And he gets the free heals under there. Right? Dodge 45% or 45. Is it a 45% chance to hit? Might as well go for it. Yeah, right here. Sixty percent chance, come on. Come on. Thank you. Come on! Yes! She was the one I wanted to hit! That! Blow. That's what sucks! Yeah! Oh, I love you, Drew. Anger Drew, however you say your name. Unleash it. Kill him. That was way easier than the first time I've come here. And it had, like, level twos. Oh, man. You need heal though. A dizzying fall. Kinda wish I had, had another turn where he got to go so we could heal her. And then we could have killed the guy. What did he give us? Give us a key, some onyx. Mark of the Outcast. Wow. That's actually kinda awesome. I want it. I said drop this. I'm shift clicking. Thank you. Ooh. That went. Dude, that man at arms was the MVP for that battle. He just kept knocking him back and he kept trying to come forward. That was awesome. People are. Ooh. We need to find the other Curio. Where is it? Uh oh. This is where I'm starting to get worried. The food problem here. Ooh, I almost did that. Gotta switch party. What the heck is this other? Hi. What the? Oh, there was a trap. Didn't I scout that and I just was stupid and didn't realize it? There it is. Thank God. The maddening whine of multitudinous Let's, wings uh... abates. Let us hope that is the end of things. Oh, it's done. I can't go further. Okay, I'll accept it. Good job, team. In those younger years, my home was a hive of unbridled hedonism. A roiling apiary where instinct and impulse were indulged with wild abandon. A bewitching predator slipped in amidst the swarm of tittering sycophants. Though outwardly urbane, I could sense in her a mocking thirst. Driven half mad by cloying vulgarity, I plotted to rid myself of this lurking threat in a grand display of sadistic sport. But as the moment of murder drew nigh, the gibbous moon revealed her inhuman desires in all their stultifying hideousness. 
<laughs> Their vampires are creepy and gross. Love them. And so this is the reason why we came here. Another Hellion buff. Alright. So he... Made, wow, he almost made it to level 2. Yep. Uh, if we, we could have gone just slightly further, he probably would have been level 2. Extra sealed. Alright, yeah, we need to get rid of his stupid... Can't... Retribution. These swarming fiends carry a pernicious plague. A sickness so virulent, so insidious. It is more a curse than a mere disease. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this guy into the sanitarium real quick. Where is he? It's not you. Where is he? Oh yeah, that's the symbol for... He has that curse, and I don't think there's any way to do it. Like, you can't throw him in the sanitarium to get rid of it. It's just kind of there. This, go away. Probably should have saw if I could have removed it. Made it cheaper, but... Anyway, I gotta leave this episode off here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to like, subscribe, comment if you so desire. But more importantly, remember to spay and neuter your pets, adopt no shop, donate to your rescue if you can afford it, or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. That's a very rewarding experience and helps those rescues and animals out that are very much in need. Anyway, I'm Vasive. Thank you for tuning in with me, and I'll catch you next time. See ya!